Yeah, 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 na, 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 yeah. Certain fire flames, now I'm born again. Times really change. Talk truth. We've seen better days. The youth not safe again. What a damn shame. Talk truth. I want that them are promo. So quick them selling out. Them sold them cashing out. Yeah, well, this is Kemetic 9 representing for I Just Star and the Mindset. Then I move right, get the mind check. Oh, yeah. Mindset, blessed love, manners, and respect. One well, for greet the item in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor El Selassie I the First, and also Empress Mene the First, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I Ja, Rastafari. One more day above ground, beautiful viewers and subscribers, as the item know, life our ultimate position. Not no greater than that, no matter what I go on, on top of everything, what we say I go on. All right, great if you have the item here, Zine, we have a special guest on the program today. Um, we're on the topic of Afrobeat and Reggae, Zine and Buju Bantan, looking at that viral um, interview that he did and the vault and the remarks that he made about Afrobeat. But before we interview um, uh, our special guest, Zane, before we introduce our special guest, um, you know, the program is powered by Yard Slang Closing, all right? Yard Slang, wait there. Somebody says something about Jamaican patois in a style and fashion. Yes, to Ross, me a search the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Walk one of the latest and newest one in a t-shirt, booty, slippers and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I may not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slam! Hit them with a bang! Yard slang hitting them with a bang. Yeah, man, check them out on all of the social platform. Zin, alternatively, you can check um, their website. All right, right there, so right there. So, uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, we're looking at the topic of uh, Afrobeat, Zin, and what the remarks that Buju Bantan um, said about Afrobeat and um, that viral interview on the vault. Zine, so our um, special guest, Zine, is a, is a bridging all the way from out of Nigeria. Zine, um, BS here in the UK, I would say. Um, a Rastafari bridging who, you know, we sit on the road and do him thing, you know, and move through Africa more, more while. You know what I mean? is a bridging who is also um, a sound system operator, Zin, and also a reggae musician, Zin. So, without no further ado, I want to introduce um, Vice of Africa to the Mindset Platform. Blessed love, my lord. Hi, this is Rastafari and Reda. Yes, I just start. Give thanks. Majesty. Give thanks to the King, his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Isis Selassie I. First rifle, uh, and I know you look impressed. Men in it's a perfect balance, you know. I take the man and the woman for bring forth Irish. Uh. Yeah, man, give thanks once again for bringing I and I forward on the I platform, you know. True, my king. Yeah, man, it's yes, an honor and a pleasure, always. An honor and a pleasure. I just, yes, yes, my sir. brother. So, all right. Mm. Um, the, 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 the eyes are, the eyes are Nigerian. Seen and well, um, yeah, go on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, break, why I break? Where, where you want to say? Where, where, where no, you say? no. Well, them say I and I are Nigerian, but I would like to say that I come from a place that is now politically and geographically known as Nigeria. You know, seen because Nigeria, when you check it, Niger area. Mm. It's not even an African name, Niger area. Then put the two words together and call it Nigeria. 
1914 didn't do that. I and I people did it on the land, seeing from before 1914. So I and I were obviously known as a thing differently to Nigeria and before them colonize I and I and give I and I that name there. So what, what it was before then? Well, you know, before there were many different empires, Shanghai, Mali, Ghana Empire, um, even Biafra, different, different places, Guinea, seeing, mm. and, you know, these empires were still populated by different groups of people, different families, different linguistic group, even like the Yoruba, the Aousa, the, the Mende, the Mandingo, you know, Ibu. Um, the Igbo, you know, all of them were always there, seeing. Now, I, I personally come from a, the smallest clan in that region where they call Nigeria, seeing. And I come from a place where they call the Engeni people, the Engeni clan, seeing, which is part of the Ijo. Oh. Within I and I bloodline, there's different mix because there's a holy power Igbo in I and I bloodline also. Seeing hence I surname Unduka, which is an Igbo name, Unduka, which means nothing greater than life. Life is the greatest. See. You know? Yeah, so yeah. But differently, I wouldn't have this opportunity to tell people them just say, Oh, he's a Nigerian, so yes. You know. Mm-hmm keep it simple but you give I a, a platform so i use that platform to kind of elaborate a little you know yeah well well yeah. well that is important my lad because we did a you know reason earlier i said why you know for for the youths them you know it's mm-hmm. important that um you know they know the history you see me mm-hmm. because yes sir you know the colonial structure came in and you know they did their thing you know but yes, what sir. what was what was um af- happening um pre um colonial africa you know or abyssinia or Arkabulan, you know what was what was what was happening then you know what was the names that was used then you know what i mean mm-hmm. just like places like up in the southern part like south africa you know once mm-hmm. call it Anzania, you know what I mean? Anzania, yeah. 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 You know? Then you have Zimbabwe, where they used to call Rhodesia. Rhodesia, you know, true, yeah. true, true. I, I, you see, the whole of them area there, in the south, used to be known as Monomotapa. After one great, I believe he was a great royal or a great general, seen who used to control that area there, Monomotapa region. You know, Monomotapa. Yeah, Monomotapa. Mm. See, you can can check it out. You know, yeah, yeah. So these colonize. You see the little col- colonial mentality, and I and I keep up the colonial thing. It keep I and I divided. Mm-hmm. See, because when I and I were not known by these names like Rhodesia, South Africa. Um, Kenya, uh, Uganda, whatever, Nigeria. See, these, Cordova, these the smaller groups, these families were trading. You know, they may have been little skirmishes sometimes, because human beings always have argument. See, mm. but then there will be time of reconciliation. See, and time of peace. See, and members say in Africa, we never have no courthouse we never have no prison we never have police but there must have been people who transgress against the law and there must have been a system seen that dealt with that mm-hmm. you understand yeah, seeing yeah so systems were in place seen to deal with trade and commerce to deal with spirituality but even all these systems we we i'm just using like a colonial term even to describe it mm. it's just liberty natural see when you wake up in a day, when you rise up see and you wash your face and beard your skin and 
brush your teeth and you know what I mean do normal things in our life eat you know go do do seeing whatever seeing you, you we don't compartment these aspects of life it's just life Live it. and it's just it's just like like praying giving thanks acknowledging people a certain way seeing all the aspects of liberty seeing exchanging of goods seeing it's just part of i and i liberty there was never we never call it this is commerce this is um you owe us yeah, ma. Yeah, <laughs> this ma. is religion this is <laughs> you know yeah true my love yeah true that, yeah that's that a reality but um, yeah yeah you know all, all these things is um colonial you know what i mean is, yeah is other people culture that is forced upon us that you know we don't even understand you know yeah. something that i hear fellow quote is saying one of his is um his songs that you know we 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 as a people why we're not then aware uh, why we're not getting no money and these things mm-hmm. is because our, our, our invaders you know I mean? mm-hmm. colonial um you know people coming mm-hmm. you see it yeah but um I too. yeah 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 the reality if, 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 even bojo see one thing me love about that out of you see with him and drink champs was he introduced himself or he made mention seeing of his roots in africa see in that region that is now called nigeria mm-hmm. amongst the Igbo people mm-hmm. seeing and he also spoke of being a more and being a maroon yes see and you know incidentally yeah after that out of you and i know this is not the base of the topic but after that out of you um i was going online and me see some commentary by mr vegas see and Mr. Vegas uh, was kind of separated. So he, 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 he acknowledged the powerful message that Bujo gave. He acknowledged the, the positivity, seeing of Bujo's whole, you know, everything he said. But he made discrepancies and saying that Bujo was wrong to different. It, it, there's a differentiation, really, between more and maroon because the moors were as far as vegas said were muslims who entered into europe and maroons were like cimarron come from the, was it the term wild uh untamed seeing i can't remember which terminology he used but he said more or less something about the moors um the, the maroons being different to moors seeing and even a differentiation again between Igbo and Maroon. Now, um, I know that for a long time, yeah, basically speaking, with most reasoning why I used to have with people in Jamaica, see, either even on the continent, on the island, or in the diaspora, yeah, most people in acknowledging their african roots this is like going back maybe like 10 years or more they say yeah man we know so we come from ghana come come you know say me are maroon and the maroon them come from ghana mm-hmm. see and sometimes if you even suggest to some people that oh you know say you you, you might have, have some nigeria nigeria no sir i mean i'm not nigerian in me you know sir I be a, you know yeah. not even they wouldn't even say it like in a way like to say well i don't think it's possible say, no sir like don't me, even put that on me like it's a big curse me with yeah nigeria. if you even mention say me might yeah. be a nigerian yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah but now the realization in a jamaica mm. is that most of the people who came from africa were from nigeria <laughs> see see yeah if you if you check if you check the story and the journey most of them came from nigeria but they were only dropped off at two ports right which would be 
Montego Bay and St. Anne's. See? The, 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 the Akan people now, who came mostly from Ghana, yeah, were shipped to like seven different ports. So although they were lesser, they were more widespread. See? The Nigerian, those who came from the place where it's now known as Nigeria, because even then it wasn't known as Nigeria in I-14 and 15 and 1600, you know. Mm. It wasn't known as yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. See, but, but but one thing we have to um, take into consideration also mm -hmm. that there mm -hmm. there was there was Africans before um Yes. Before slavery, even the before yes. transatlantic slavery. Yes. Before yes. Africans who came there in shackles and sh and, and trained. There were Africans yes. who came there through the Mali Empire, the yes. through Kan Kan Musa, Mansa Musa, yes. and, and, yes. and um, them, them bridging there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you did have Africans already a settle um, yes. in, 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 in a them part of the um, world. The there. Caribbean Sea. Yeah, long, long, yeah. long time. Because when you check um, like um, the, 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 the Mayas, um, mm -hmm. And and you check certain um, artifacts. The Olmec, uh, or, or yeah, the, the Olmec. Yeah. Yes, my lord. Yeah, man. Yeah. You check them. You them, can see. You, you can see that the Africans yeah. them been there um, long time. You see, man. Yeah, man. For real. Long time. For real. Even probably and before and it's, Kan Kan Musa them and Mansa Musa. Yeah. Them. You see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I even even I would say right because remember say Africa right is so diverse with people in complexion and features see because uh, originally I think people in the West thought that all Africans were deep black with very big thick lip thick lips mm -hmm. and flat nose and mm -hmm. you know they just have a stereotypical view of our African steer see but remember say Africa is the gene pool, seen for the whole of the human race, seen so every feature is, in is within within Africa anywhere, seen. And when it comes to yeah, and when it comes to shade, right? You would ask even I. I was I tell people say white is the lightest shade of black, and black is the darkest shade of white. See? It just stands to reason. Seeing because if you go up on the, if you go up on a scale and go from darkness to light, seeing like if you use a, a dimmer switch, take the example of a dimmer switch. You go from darkness to light. Seeing if with with a, on and off switch is just darkness light, but when you use a dimmer switch, you see the process of going from darkness to light. Mm. Seeing. And it's just the same with melanin. Seeing some people have more, some people have less. Seeing, depending on environment and a whole heap of thing. Seeing, definitely prophecy, scripture, anthropologists, um, geology, everybody kind of come to the consensus seeing that the human beginnings is in Africa. See, yeah, I think man. there's yeah, a man. general yeah. consensus amongst yeah. all scientists and, you know. There's no doubt about that. There's, there's no doubt no about that. No doubt about right. that. No that. doubt about that. Right. When you, when you look um, in Ethiopia, for instance, you know what I mean? You have yeah. one set of Ethiopians look a certain way. Zee, yeah. Like they are yeah. Arabs are, you know what I mean? They are... Um, mm -hmm. I, and then you have so, a next set of Ethiopia that look black, dark, like all right. Like so, so that's why I was coming. So when I look at when I look at when they matter about um, uh, the Arawak mm. scene and the Carib, yeah, and them say them are Indian scene, but I and I know say them are African. They came there from Africa.
them travel from Africa and reach the south. Just like what we say, the, the Omec and the the um the different the Amazonian people seen. They are it's in there when you look at their their artifact and their relics, seeing you can see. And just like there was a study done, right, about Arawak. Seeing you did I just that. Yeah, man, I'm listening to that. Yeah, yeah. Just just like there was a study done. Yeah, come and watch this brother who do a whole leap of university research about the Arawaks seeing and come to the conclusion like, all right, if there is a if Arawaks existed as a people, right? Why is it that when you go to the Arawak Museum, you can see Arawaks axe, Arawaks cup, Arawaks this, Arawak that. But you can't see a Arawak remains like a thumb or a skull or a, there's no Arawak human remain seen in the Arawak museum. There's only relics of tools and household items or things where them set Arawak use. So when I check that now and the, the, the look of the Arawak or the carib. Them look like them have a more wavy hair and certain thing. It's just like the Ethiopian, you know? And when his majesty go to Jamaica now and say the Ethiopian and the Jamaican them is one, see? Mm-hmm. And then coming now to the to the more recent, because like what you say, this transatlantic crossing is a very recent in comparison to how long Africans have been there. Yeah, See, man. the transatlantic thing is just a recent thing is a drop in the ocean. Yeah, man. But them people, they know, can directly, there's, there's direct um, information seen about them coming from the coast of mostly West Africa, seen Ghana, Nigeria, all the way up to Gambia, seen and different parts of Africa, because even I and I, if you remember, say, even though people were taken from Ghana, from Elimina. See, Elimina was a holding post. See, so people were gathered from all different parts of the continent. See, some come from a very far distance and were brought to, to this place where they call Ghana, Elimina, and then from there distributed in different boats, you know? But as, as, as I was saying, you know, that was only the British. You know, when you check mm-hmm. yeah. the Portuguese, we are the yes. Portuguese who were the, the, the ones who started it. And we are there mm-hmm. were penetrating firstly. You mm-hmm. understand? Yeah. So, yeah. it's a whole part thing to the thing. It's a deep still. thing. Yeah, but you see, like, thing. all right, just for the nail up that part there. So, you see, like, when um, Mr. Vegas said, him said, well, and then him said, the, the, the Moors were not Africans and they were Muslim. Yeah. Uh, well, you have to know, say, Islam in North Africa is a recent thing, even com- in comparison to Christianity. Mm. The world of North Africa had Christianity or, or, or a Christ-like from kind of more se- fear. From the fourth century. Yeah. Yeah, before Islam came there. Mm. So, it's just like Islam people are always say, oh, the Ara- Arabs are Muslims. So, it's wrong to say Arabs are Muslim. There are Christian Arabs. There's Christians in Iran. There's Christians in Iraq. You understand? Just there's Christians in in Palestine. Yeah, you understand? All, 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 all of this is stemming from what Judaism, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, and and even before the the advent of Judaic culture, seen within the 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 most prominent parts of Africa. Right, these people were always diverse, more diverse. You know, for I have to come out of this small box, see, and see the bigger picture when I and I talk about peoples within Africa. See, I just wanted to make that point. You know, not all not all Moors were Muslim. See, not all. Arabs, you know, it's just that make that point, seeing that when you talk about a people, still think about them as having even diversity within their sect. Seeing? So, 
I just a little point where me and make. I don't know if people can follow me trend. You know? See it. All right. Yeah. All right. So, mm-hmm. on, on, on the, the, to- the topic still um, mm-hmm. of Bojo Bantan and, and, and Afrobeat, you know, because, mm-hmm. uh, as you say, Bojo was asked a question, you know, him flip it back mm-hmm. on the virgin. Mm-hmm. To you know, to ask him if you know if do they really mm-hmm. support us? Do you know do they support mm-hmm. or not? You understand? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. as as I was saying um, earlier, that you know the question mm-hmm. that was asked to Buju Bantan was a loaded question and a very divisive mm-hmm. question at the same time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because. We have to be careful, you know, because you have people out there, and especially um, celebrities who have the influence and who can, you know, make impact. Zane, they are the ones who sometimes is used to wedge a gap between the 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 the, 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 the unity of African people in the diaspora and on the continent because mm-hmm. to ask the question that he asks about um, reggae and Afrobeat and mm-hmm. dancer why mm-hmm. why would you ask such such a question you mm-hmm. know what I mean and then try to play innocent at the same mm-hmm. time when you're being very divisive you know what I mean mm-hmm. You need mm-hmm. divisive when 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 you check it out because then you know Bujo um, would act uh, 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 react in the way he react and why mm-hmm. it's a loaded question you mm-hmm. check like two weeks before um, mm-hmm. what was happening Zane mm-hmm. Burner Boy and Steel Pulse had this big incident that took the social space by storm. You understand? So that was still fresh um, in the air and probably also in people's minds said way. You know what I mean? And who to tell? Probably that even crossed Bujibant and mine. Zane and, you know, as I said, the Virgin know that is a divisive question he's asking when he asks about reggae dance uh, mm-hmm. and afrobeat you see me i say mm-hmm. afrobeat i do what it 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 that they, they, i do right now you understand mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. reggae is there doing what it's always been doing nothing has mm-hmm. changed much mm-hmm. zane mm-hmm. dance all is there doing what it's always there doing just mm-hmm. the same as hip-hop you understand mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's doing what it, it's always doing, Zin. And uh, hip hop artists shouldn't even uh, uh, try to be so divisive because they should look on their music and, 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 and look on the state and condition of, of their music, Zin, and mm-hmm. not trying to be divisive about reggae and, 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 and if. Um, Afrobeat is Afrobeat. giving mm-hmm. back or showing any love back to to, mm-hmm. to, to to reggae because if you check the history, Zane mm-hmm. if he was really doing any research and if he had any mm-hmm. credible researchers, mm-hmm. they would have mm-hmm. known that you had a a a a a a a um, a whole, a host of artists. Zane mm-hmm. in 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 the 2010 era coming up when you have the 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 Sean Paul the 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 um the fuse the fuse why oh they are uh, uh, and you know what I mean all of them artists mm-hmm. that uh, 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 collaborate with the Afrobeat artists them in a Ghana mm-hmm. at the time mm-hmm. Zane mm-hmm. you have the whole segment there Zane. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. uh, uh, Jamaicans and, and Africans artists um, a collaborate. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. to, to ask if Afrobeat uh, 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 show any props to mm-hmm. to reggae and dancehall, it's it's a divisive mm-hmm. question and it's a very loaded mm-hmm. question. Mm-hmm. Well, I totally agree. Uh, 
the the relationship between Afrobeat and um, reggae, I, th I don't think it needs explanation. But for those who still see so much of a difference and are not looking at the similarities, let's remind everyone that every sound of the drum you hear is an African beat. See, whether you hear that drum beat coming through country and Western music, whether it's coming through classical music played with an orchestra, everything, you have to remember that human beings were only in one place, yeah, for over four million years, seeing before they even left the continent of Africa. And within that time, they had developed a thing called the drum, see, and that drum, they didn't use it to play one beat over that millennia of, or, um, you know, uh, process of millennia, right? They had developed many beats and many dances. I hear people say, when they see um, Africans dancing, they say, oh, them dance like Jamaican. See, because they see a similarity within twerking. And, you know, these things have always been within African people. You know, not just in the Mamala, even you go to Colombia or Brazil, see, and you will see the same movement amongst the people. You'll hear the same beats, but they're being, you know, put together in different ways. Reggae is very, to I, it's unique, see. The sound of the Naya Bingi drum is unique to I. The Naya Bingi pattern, see, because anywhere you go in, dif in different parts of Africa, I've heard different kind of drum beat, whether it be Palogo or different, different beat from Ghana, from from Nigeria, from. But you see that Naya Bingi beat, the one two, boom boom, boom boom, kaka ka boom boom, kaka ka boom boom, ka boom boom. The way that beat has been put together. See, I feel it's unique, yeah, to Jamaica. See, because I never hear that beat anywhere. I hear that, I hear beats, but I never hear that beat anywhere on the continent. Not even in Ethiopia, even in the, the Orthodox or amongst the different people. That Naya Bingi beat, see, is developed by Africans, see, who were taken away and has their experience in the Caribbean, see, and especially in the island of Jamaica, see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm first, I'm yeah, I'm first I'm and I'm foremost, every sound of the drum you hear is an African beat. So, who can can African borrow from anybody? Them is the originator, see, and. You know, this relationship between Africans in Jamaica, they will give and pay homage to Africa in songs and in everything, see, because it's a memory of their roots and their origin and keeps them strong to this very moment in time. See, it's all about, um, what do you call it? Um, not recollection, not remembrance. Um, uh there's a word um i will it will, it will fall with an iron head in a moment still see calypso is different to reggae see mm -hmm. but you can hear africa in calypso you can hear africa in reggae yeah if african it's just like some people might say to me Simba, you look Jamaican. Me never know say so you're African. All right, why you never know say so you're African? Oh, the way you look and maybe the way I talk. Yeah? All right, the way I talk, yeah, I would say, yeah, accent, tonation, yeah, yeah there's a lot of, there's a lot of Jamaica. See? Yeah. How, how do I come to this? Am I trying to, am I trying to be Jamaican? No, I'm not trying to be Jamaican. No. I'm trying to come, I'm trying to, communicate yeah with the majority of people who is in i surrounded see natural. Natural. yeah and the majority of people through maybe through the reggae influence and everything seeing i 
I, I part of resonate with I. Mm. See, however, where was the English first being broken? See, because me I be original African bobo, na Nigeria, where they come from. No, be say I know if you speak my language, but I just do this one for communication. You understand, right? Yeah. If I go to Nigeria, I can just brrr, yeah, and just talk like maybe they will still hear a hint of something there because I've not been there for a long time. And you know, when you're outside, you're mm -hmm. always going to get influenced not your sure. accent or your tonation or whatever. Not See? Sure. Right? However, yeah, this whole idea of breaking English or breaking French or breaking whatever European language first happened on the continent. See, because you have to remember the Europeans came and made, created so-called relation, seeing with Africans before they started to take out our resources and including our human resources. They were, they came with their language and we, in an effort to seen and broke it up, mm -hmm. seeing. Yeah. However, however, not many of them learned our language. There's not many. You know, we learned about them, but they never learned much about I and I. You know, Is that much broken. They were too. They were, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's just like, yeah, you see Africans wearing wig, and you see Europeans wearing wig, but you see Africans wearing European wigs. Yeah, but you'll never see a European wearing a, a wig that looks like an afro. Mm. You are a son. See? Yeah, yeah. So, we know a lot about them. We try to assimilate to be like them. We've, we've, we've been affected so much more. See? And we have affected them, but maybe in less obvious ways. Right, see? Yeah. Because they've made themselves, they've made their culture dominant. See? Yeah, so you know the reasoning, sticking to the reasoning. Yeah, to the reasoning. See? To the reasoning. Yeah. Yeah, well the music. Mm -hmm. Would you say a, a lot of things as 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 we were mm -hmm. um saying earlier? Zane mm -hmm. um him said it, them not sing no song for for free mm -hmm. Africa. You know, mm -hmm. that was one of um mm -hmm. the statement. Oh mm -hmm. oh 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 you look upon that. And he's talking about well, currently. Yeah, well, he gave props to the ancients mm. of Afrobeat, the originators. He gave props to, he said, the greatest musician to come out of Africa. And the first name he mentioned was Fela Kuti. Then yeah. I think he mentioned Lucky Dube. And then people like Salif Keita and some others. See? Now, um, African music is journeying, seeing, and everybody is being influenced. Everyone is being influenced by different people, seeing. We've got the alternate now, seeing, mm -hmm. and through that now, there's a global connection, and there's more influence from different parts of the world now, yeah. seeing. Now. The originals, when you go back to 1971, why black man they suffer, tune by the man like Fela Kuti, mm -hmm. or tunes like Suffering and Smiling, seeing? Then this pattern has also been, um, you know, come out, come forward again in, in his children. Because he have Femi Kuti, he have Shell Kuti, and these are prominent Afrobeat artists now who are singing conscious music, conscious lyrics, seeing to uplift the people, to keep them in tune to the struggle and to, to guide them, keep them focused on their culture, you know, not to stray too much to Oibo colonized mentality, seeing. Yet these people are not getting highlights. Seeing what is getting highlight is. Baby, baby, why in your body? I go give you money. You have a son. 
so, which so, is the same so, struggle so, so, in so, reggae. All right. So wait there. So all right. Let me see if we can um, identify certain things in what I say, because. Mm-hmm. In 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 a Jamaica music scene, as you know, you have reggae and you have dancehall, and um, reggae is really what took off. Zine, it wasn't the other way around. Zine, it you know, it's reggae. Reggae took off and and um, birth, you know, even hip hop and and these things. Um, but you know, more closely, it's dancehall. Now. If 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 I hear what the ayah say correctly, in Nigeria, Zin with these conscious Afrobeat artists, Zin Afrobeat, the Afrobeat, what the ayah talk about, Zin is the conscious side of 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 the music. With probably you would identify mostly now with with reggae the revolutionary side mm-hmm. of of um, of of afrobeat now mm-hmm. the, the 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 um the, the the commercial side of afrobeat now what we are seeing is mm-hmm. the commercial side of reggae which is the dancehall side all right what what now what, you see what we are seeing what you're saying is exactly so However, reggae and dancehall have now become have now differentiated. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time there was a time when that differentiation wasn't so clear cut mm-hmm. or clean cut, and people were saying our oh, reggae music turns to this, our oh, reggae music turns to that. And people have to say no, that's dancehall. See, in reggae is still reggae. You understand? And the difference in beat, this faster beat is more boom, 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 boom. Where's reggae still reggae? Chicken, chicken, chicken. You understand what I say? Yeah, man. Right? It's the same thing. Right? If you say that there's no conscious Afrobeat, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fallacy. Conscious Afrobeat did it, but it's not getting the limelight. And just like the differentiation, there's still some people in Africa who refuse to call Burner Boy's music or um, Wizkid or Davido's music. They would refuse to call it Afrobeat. They would rather call it Afropop. Mm. See, because they say, you can't call it Afrobeat when Afrobeat is so different. See, because even the beat of Fela's music, the instrumentation, see, the, the, the pattern, see, the, the, the um, what's the word? The progression scene is totally different. There's a lot of more, there's more of a jazzy, there's more horns, there's more, you understand, there's more but, but, of a lot of. But you see, traditional try to pattern fe- fellow in, a, in our appearance on the stage uh, mm-hmm. in, uh, and certain sounds in other music still. I don't know if you see that. Is it say what? With Burner Boy, mm-hmm. you know, see him well, try, but, like you, him you see, to copy that's, all the other things. That's what elevate Burner Boy. See, that's what elevate Burner Boy come in with a little kind of like he had to because remember, say Burner Boy's connection with Fela Kuti through his mother mm. and whatever, right? He must have been advice maybe mm. yeah add a little bit of this because people can resonate with it yeah you understand it's gonna it's gonna take you places yeah now um even amongst just like there's been just like what you were saying from 2010 and even probably before there's been a lot of collaboration between afrobeat artists and Jamaican art, reggae, dancehall art, especially dancehall art. Is that we, if we're going to differentiate, there's not so much reggae and Afrobeat collaboration. There's more dancehall artists and Afrobeat collaboration. See? Which, not no wrong, it's because they're more the same tempo and they're more the same kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know? Dance and be merry. 
right? It's very commercialized. Yeah, Afrobeat in Afrobeat, you hear mention of Prada and Gucci and Lexus. You understand, right? Or what, what, what I and I would have preferred called Afro pop. In original Afrobeat, fella would not mention those things. He's not giving, he's not giving them boy the space. He not want people buy their things. You understand, right? He would prefer that Africans come together, see, and form their own car company that can rival Mercedes Benz and Lexus and make the world buy into that. He would gladly promote that. Yeah. You understand? But I know people now, they're, glad, they're not promoting Roots Wine. They're promoting Hennessy. You know what I mean? And whatever. It's so commercialized because the influences and people want likes and people want sales. You understand? And they're seeing it as that's the way to go. You know? But just to say and to emphasize that, yes, there is um, conscious Afrobeat. Although you have to go look for it. See? If you're looking for conscious reggae now, you don't have to look too far. See? Uh, because, because reggae has a heritage and, you know, Going down the line, there's a lot of people, right? You've, you've got this, new, you've you've got a new era of reggae artists, see, and they're not only in Jamaica, because reggae has become Jamaica's gift to the world, mm -hmm. as well, you know. Um, what 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 do you think about um, because as you were saying that they they are conscious artists and they are conscious. Afrobeat songs. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's mm -hmm. a young man that passed away, uh, I think about two years now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Mobad. Mobad. Yeah, Mobad. Um, I, I sent you one of his tracks, I think. It's a track called Peace. Yeah. yeah. Now, even when you listen to the music in, in that form, it's modern day Afrobeat. Yeah, but you, you can't hear any semblance between it and reggae. See, it's not like there's anything taken from reggae, no. so to speak. You understand? It's just very distinctive Afrobeat. You know, the tonation, the 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 the, the language, the tone of speaking is very localized to the people of that region. Yeah. However, that local tongue is become popular. Yeah, you have to remember, sir, there was a time when when reggae music first when the original reggae musicians, yeah, everybody could buy into it because original reggae musicians were hardly didn't use patois unless it was a DJ. And the DJ come in and broke up the thing and nice up the high school. Yeah, we understand. The DJ, the, the singers like Bob Marley. Bob Marley had Bob Marley was very clear. Um, heptones, right? They might use the odd sentence, yeah. But the the majority of their song was in in English, unbroken. The tonation, yeah, of their voice or their tonation and certain thing was local, but. The language, yeah, everybody from, you could come from India and you could understand what they're saying. You can understand what Gregory's singing about. You understand? When you come to dance now, see, and the latter, the latter artists, people have to, have to listen more. You understand? Because at first they say, yeah, I love the beat, mate, but what's he talking about? You know? Give some little cockney slang there. There you go. So what's he talking about? Reality. Right? Yeah, I love, I love, to, I love reggae. I don't know what he's saying, mate, but yeah, the bass, yeah, it's booming. You know what I mean? Them just, they, they were buying into certain aspects mm -hmm. of the music. But because they love the music so much now, them start to listen more keenly. Seeing? And get for Wolverston, right? The broken English, see, which is what I and I, what is more now, now as patois, see. Um, would you went to the extreme, 
of um, mm. saying that um, the music now that is being made, Zin is is every, you know. That's 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 how extreme he went, you know. Well, to 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 kind of rubber stamp what he must say, mm-hmm. right? There's also an out of you with Burner Burner Boy, where they asked Burner Boy, what is what are people singing about in Afrobeat? <laughs> and he said they're singing about nothing. Right? And there are some songs where bang 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 is it bang 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 is it bang 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 if you ask an artist what what language is that you tell you he made up the words but not a lie you know there's some songs here where it sounds like a language but it's actually just I man I twist him tongue and I use him tongue in a certain way and I create certain word sound which becomes appealing because you know what? It must be a skill for chat shit and it sells. <laughs> no, check it. A science. It must be a skill. A science raster. <laughs> right? For chat. When you even ask the brother, what you did I say? He said, why? I just some words with me make up. A right? science to judgment. But... Right? The first artist I really realized that a lot of these words were made up was an artist called Terry G. Yeah, if you go and you listen to Terry G's songs, a lot of his songs like I couldn't identify a specific language. You know what I'm and I I know some Yoruba, some Igbo, some Hausa. I don't know much of any of them. You know what I'm but I can at least listen and kind of realize that uh, yeah, this is this sound like this. But some of them sound like a language, but I don't I couldn't identify it. And then when you ask the artist himself, why we just make up some words and put them together? And they sang boom, bang, bang. Make money. Become popular. Elevate him. You understand? So would somebody stop? Yeah. Linguistics, I mean man. if you if you if that's your way and it's 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 just like um you remember you remember um there was a dance house song, right? Ring ding 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 Right? What am I gonna say? But you know what? That went viral. That became as a ringtone, especially that sell off. See? Sell off. So, you know, you can't knock people for doing what they're doing. Yeah. However, I share the view that Buzu share, right? That we would love to hear more. Yeah. And the conscious music after it forward more. I'm on just put out a tune where everybody say is an Afrobeat tune. You know, I work with a producer in Nigeria called Money Cloud, um, Big Tunes Productions. And we collaborated on a tune and I put together a lyrics called No More Folly Tricks. You can find it on YouTube, you know, and I'm I'm trying to make it go viral. See, because you see this No More Folly Tricks? See, we are talking about we don't need no more folly tricks. I and I say, fix up Nigerian politics. It's, it's specific to Nigeria. But when you check the message, it's Pan-African and it's also universal. Because... Globally or universally, I don't no want no more folly tricks. See, I don't to fix up what them call politics. See, we can't avoid politics because the, the price of bread in the shop, the price of fuel, the price of your electricity and whatever is all political decision, policies and whatever. What, what politicians make will make economy rise and economy fall. See, so. But we still want justice. We still want, you know, we want sanitation, right? Well, the, the, Clean environment, education, security. This is you the thing. This is the thing. You know, he, 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 he asks, you know, Bojo asks to name one song, one Afrobeat song that can uplift us out of the struggle right now 
and he was speaking all generally. Right. All right, and just so happens that just before him said that, right, I'm on have this tune, no more folly tricks. So I don't know if I'm going to be the first one to be on his radar as a positive Afrobeat artist, but I'm not an Afrobeat artist. I'm an artist. Seen, and I see myself as a one who can use different medium. Seen, just like Bujo. I've heard him on rhythms that are definitely not reggae. You understand? But he used the medium to, you know, because we're trying to put our message across to different people, different listeners as well. You understand? The majority of people in Nigeria and in Africa, and even in the dance globally, on the radio, when I switch on, BBC One Extra, right? Our uh, Capital Extra. A lot of the time is Afrobeat music I play. You know, right here in London City. Seeing more than dancehall, more than reggae. Seeing more than even indigenous English pop music. I'm hearing Afrobeat. And I'm hearing UK Afrobeat artists. Like there's an artist called Dave. So you know, I don't know if you've heard of him. So you know, I think he'll do a collaboration with Bernard Boy at one stage. So, you know, and there's this different, different artists. Yeah, man, you have a you youth know, named Omolia. Omole. Omolia. Omolia. Yeah, that youth there, him come from my region. He come from the city of Port Harcourt, See. you know, in River State, which is my, that's, that's, I went to school there, you know, for a short period, you know, during my secondary education. What do you think about so, him? I think he's a very nice, I love his style, you know. Um, I have a tune, something about God. Yeah, I love his, I love his, I love his vibe. You understand? And um, he's been picked up, and people are picking him up. You know, and he's he's getting attention. Mm. See, and it's nice that Africa. You see, another thing about Afrobeat, yeah, which was. The thing about Skia and um, Rocksteady, right? Because listening to our out of you with a man like Lee Scratch Perry, him say that when they created Skia and Rocksteady, it was bar music, party music. See, music for him, make you full joy yourself. When him say enjoy yourself, see? Then they decided to put spirituality in the music. He said when they make reggae music, is when they decide to put more spiritual vibration in the music. See? See? So definitely, there was a change in the message now. A change in direction. And it took over. Because maybe people needed that change at that time as well. Because yeah, he's speaking about the realities. I remember say. When they start to speak about the reality, you know, nobody in man played them on radio, right? Reggae music wasn't getting no play in Jamaica. See, let's not fool ourselves. See, right? On airwaves, like broadcast, national, no, there was no airplay. See, there was very little airplay up until the 90s when IRFM come about. See, so that yes. message still still permeated yeah despite the um the astrazization of that music it still permeated throughout the world because the music is universal see it's like what would you say it's the king's music seeing so people of the earth seeing can relate to the king's music another thing where him did say him say you know when you listen to the music throughout time, yeah, you can register when you go on your first date. When you did, it's like, you know, you remember through the music. Yeah, that music, I remember when my first dance, I remember this, I remember my first girlfriend, I remember my first date, I remember this, I remember that, I remember the struggle, I remember when we did go up on the Marcus Gavis march, I remember, you ever sang certain tune. But would it remind you of certain times? But would, it's the same with Afrobeat too. Wouldn't wouldn't but the thing is, a lot of you know I grew up, Zane, mm -hmm. whether they are, you know, from Africa in that sense mm -hmm. or they're in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. They're growing up mm -hmm. now and they're probably listening a Omolea 
Amole. Yeah. Zane. And it reminds them of a time. <laughs> you understand? And them are listening to Holy Ghost Fire, one of them sang there. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? I would never, w- won't forget you. Are so, you know what I mean? There are so much songs. Yeah that um you know Amole because you know i listen i i listen him zane i may i watch him still you see me because i i i notice a trend that is going on um yeah man you know in the afrobeat especially in afrobeat you understand mm-hmm. um um we're uh, a, a, a lot of youth, a lot of the artists, them is dressing in in skirts, in 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 you know them dress, and you mm. can see that you know this thing. Uh, it, it's it's not an African. Be, they, it's not African. No. It's not African at all. But, but within their lust, yeah, for commercialization, yeah, within their lust for commercialization they're starting to do funny things because maybe it might even be part of the contract All right things. when they never read they never read the small print see because it's it's just like when we remember um usain bolt we remember him for his running but then there comes that time when we say oh shit, but him did wear a dress you know what i mean if you do the virgin advert see so what make him do that he knows so Jamaica and I got him out for that. So what really make him do that? Was he an oversight in 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 in, in the contract, or was it that the money was just too much to to turn down? That him said, "Why? Well, if me I go do it one time and get two mil, you oversight." But then there's a next man who, even if you give him twenty million, now nah, do it, and that's a man like I. You understand? And I know there's many like I. I'm not gonna have that. Because that that becomes the legacy. After you're done, you yam after twenty mil. You you might even put it into schools and put it into poor people. But that picture is still gonna be in people's memory. Yeah, you well, understand? You have a of whole you heap, in that. You have a whole heap you know of one, I mean? You have a whole heap of ones out there now where I do come. I say them a comedian and them and them are dressed up like woman and all of them. Some people are laugh and find it funny. You know what I mean? Listen, we have, we have, we have, we have, uh, all right, long time them have, um, what's that you that we used to come over from Jamaica, come out England? He was very popular after Oliver Samuel's demise. Oliver, we can't say his demise, but uh, uh, there was a you come out and him, his thing was kind of very feminine, seeing? And then you look in like Nigeria now, you see this you with him called Bob Bob Risky or something like that. Yeah. Well he looks like somebody who's actually had changes, you know, transgender. I don't know what he is uh he or she or uh, what. You understand? But that person has risen to a, a, a point of popularity where he's been hailed, he or she's been hailed by fellow celebrities you understand whereas originally we would see ourselves as a people who burn that out you know what i mean would never put that on a platform so you know babylon is definitely yeah in a in a musician them seeing because they're not that's like what you say they're not pushing no not to liberate the people, but that can be seen both within dancehall and Afrobeat. Seeing conscious music is there coming out of Jamaica and Nigeria, but it's not getting the platform that these other art. Look now, Vice Rattel just step out of prison and he's taken over the whole limelight again. You understand? Me not nah, saying guilty, I'm mean, not guilty, you know. I Me mean, not that part there, but I'm just talking about the attention. Mm-hmm. See, and I'm not saying he deserves it or he doesn't deserve it. I'm just saying that is the reality. That him step out and poof, puff, bang. It's all about vice cartel now. So See? When, I, when I say the attention, it, not just the attention, but also the influence um, behind, mm-hmm. behind the attention. Yes, and look, I mean the message. There's a there's a subliminal message there as well, mm. right? 
th- that could be yeah um could be um permeating right amongst the people it could be a message that why well, you can do certain things and go jail and come out yeah and don't worry about it can me even go and compensate upon top of it i don't know whether he's guilty or he's not guilty i don't know but what he was All accused right. of he's come out yeah and i mean i'm not saying he shouldn't come out you understand uh, all, right. all i'm saying is that everything that we see in the media yeah right we have to navigate through this matrix you know all right yeah yeah natural but um mm-hmm. a, 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 aside from you know him case and all of that you know that that because that done and dusted see? Mm-hmm. so uh, the, the 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 virgin vibes cartel zane the mm-hmm. artist vibes cartel mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Zane and the influence that Vibes Cartel have, Zane, mm-hmm. um, his image, Zane, um, bleaching is not something that is new to Africa because you know you see a lot of African um, bleach, Doing it. Zane, yeah. and um, it wouldn't mm-hmm. you know it, it wouldn't be because of cartel why Africans are bleaching. And then because a long time African are bleach on these things. But it, it, the lyrical content, um, being a Rastafari. You did it? Yeah, man. Being a Rastafari. Yeah, right. Zane, mm-hmm. And you know now you, you have, you have mm-hmm. these Afrobeat artists, Zane, who probably look up to Vibes Cartel, who probably want a collaboration with Vibes Cartel, Zane. Um, mm-hmm. how, 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 how do you see um, that old influence now moving into Africa? Is that something that you, 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 uh, I don't know, how, how you see it? Sure. We want to do collaboration. Blessed. Are you there? Yeah, man, I'm there, I'm there. Yes, sir. You can, you can repeat what you did. Yeah, you hear me? I'm not hearing you at all. You know, you hear me? May I hear you? May I hear you? No. Go on. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, all right. So I was saying that, um, you know, knowing you have all these Afrobeat artists who probably look up to Vibes Cartel, you know, as a, you know, international recording artist, mm-hmm. a prolific artist, you know what I mean, in, you know, in what he does. He's, you know, because you cannot, you, yeah, you hear me? He's, and then you start for break. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I think I think we should see that on um on this note. Zane um one thing I wanted to I wanted to touch before we see that still, Zane. Yeah. Is that um you know when Buju was saying that you know the Virgin them na um sing no song for free or uplift um the people Zena, yeah. you know, we 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 have done it, you know, for Africa <clears throat> and you know they you know our expectation <clears throat> you know is 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 different. So when you have man like Bob Marley you now with the king of reggae <clears throat> music and you had um Zimbabwe independence and Bob Marley went there and you know perform you know at um at the independence of of um of zimbabwe and you 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 must would have think that reggae at the time those artists bob marley himself zane and the other wheelers and other artists would have have some form of influence in the minds of the people you know i mean pushing towards um um independence you know yeah yes my people well all right that's how we are gonna leave it because um the internet drop 
Zine, them cut off the bridging, um, them cut off the bridging line. I know that is what they were trying to do all along. You understand? But um, them can't cut this one. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because we're live recording. Zane, but reason with we in the comment section. Let me know your views and thoughts and what been reason with. Um, what's been reason here um, today. I have a large up African Simba for taking the time. Zane, African Simba, large up yourself. Manners and respect. Zane, and look out for him new song. Zane, out there. Just type in African Simba and everything will come up. Zane. Yeah man, so reason would be in the comment section, family. Let we know your views and thoughts and you know the whole thing. Alright. Mindset. Rastafari. Peace and love, you know. Mind how they are them go now. Alright? Yes I Time to rise. Time to open up your third eye. Full time you start to realize that all this time they've been telling us one bag of lies Telling us a God in the sky that for you and I he die Jenko Jesus or me or mile These things they taught us from we were a child False indoctrinating the innocent minds Mind control is the signs of the time Android, cyborg, AI, all these things combined All these things combined might sound like a rhyme but the evidence reality is right before your eyes And I know this guys The age of Aquarius is the shifting of the time Sun, moon, stars, the planet in the cosmos align As the cosmos align Low vibration, frequency decline You strengthen your mind Access to knowledge, information from the almighty creator divine Creator divine The time arise I feel with time for rise The time appointed Because I am anointed The time arise I feel with time for rise The time appointed Because I am anointed Smash that subscribe button See you on the next video I just start the mindset